everyone so this is my twist up that I have in my hair right now and what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to preserve your curls overnight so the first method is going to be the pineapple method and what you'll need is a scarf and that's it and you'll just go on the perimeters of your head and just start pushing your hair upwards so I find that um, the pineapple method is more suitable for people with longer hair because if you have shorter hair, it'll probably be harder for you to get all your hair to the top of your head. But anyways, so then you get your scarf and then you just put it on the back of your head and you're trying to get it as flat as possible and you keep moving it up so that it's flat across the back of your head. Once you have the scarf where you want it to be, then you'll just wrap it across in the front and then bring them back to the back and just tie it off, making sure that the scarf is as flat as it can be and as spread out as it can be. And then you just tie it off in the back. So that's it for this one and all you have to do is put a bonnet over it to protect your ends and then you just go to sleep and that's about it. So now I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll show you in the morning what it looks like. So as you can tell from the lack of makeup that I have on, it's the next morning and all you have to do is just take the bonnet off and then undo the scarf around your head and just start shaking your head <laughs> maybe not like this but just shake your head out and loosen up your curls and just style it how you want it to be so as you can see the back of my head got very much stretched out um, in comparison to the rest of my head which is why I started putting the water all over my hair and you just want to do this just to loosen up the curls and get more moisture in there but I don't really like this method as much because as you can see the back of my head got a lot more stretched out So the next method that I'll be showing y'all is called the banding method and this is a method that I use most of the time and it just involves you having a lot of hair ties or headbands and what you're going to do is just separate um, your hair and part it off. It doesn't have to be very specific parts, you just need it to be parted and you're going to put the headband or hair tie around your hair and what you want to do is you want to stretch it out so you don't want to all you don't want to put the whole thing on one part of your hair but you want to stretch out the hair tie so it goes down the length of your hair so you're just going to take your hair section by section and just keep doing this until your whole head is done So this is what it looks like when you have your whole head banded and after that you're just going to put the bonnet on over the whole thing and go to sleep and I'll show y'all how to take it out and what it looks like in the morning. So it's the next morning and I'll just take my bonnet off and just undo all of the bands that I put in and separate my hair and fluff up my curls as much as needed. I 
I like this method a lot more than the pineapple method because I feel like it's more suitable for people with shrinkage or people who have shorter hair because rather than just stretching out the back of your head, it stretches out your entire head and gives you more length. So afterwards to just moisturize and kind of rejuvenate my curls, I just spray the whole thing with water and just shake it out and fix my curls how I want them to be. So this is what my hair looks like after the banding method. And that's it for this video. Um, if you want to see more videos, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!